趣的观点，容易让你一成不变。肤浅，固有的偏见，迷惑你有新的主见。浮现，忽然间发现，我们离最初的誓言。渐行渐远，你是否还记得那个青涩的追风少年？有多少勇气推迟在那改变的瞬间？有多少双眼期待下个奇迹再次出现？时间为你转身。注定这不平凡的一切，把你坚强一路向前、哦。哦、一切交给时间，你会精彩呈现。勇敢和执着，许下心愿，不灭，不变。Good job. Hey. Here's your takeout. Check it out. Way, come in here. Way, I wanted dim sum, not burgers. I just made a call to Guang Fu Lou. I told them you want to have dim sum in the office, but they told me that having dim sum here is no different than having a hamburger. So I ordered one for you. Guang Fu Lou doesn't do delivery, not because they don't know how to do business, but because dim sum is a lifestyle in itself. You can have authentic dim sum made by the best chef. But you cannot easily control someone's mood and the environment of the restaurant. So ordering delivery not only goes against their belief, but also does not satisfy you. Then what's the point? So? So, I've reserved a table for you at Guang Fu Lou. Your car is waiting for you downstairs. All you have to do now is leave your work to me, go downstairs, and have authentic dim sum. Breakfast, your work is a win-win. What do you think? Okay, great. You're smart. Don't forget, I gave you a case to negotiate. So, no matter how reasonable it seems to you, you failed to ask Guan Fu Lu to deliver the dim sum to me. So on that point, you failed. But please keep in mind that as your assistant, you asked me to order your food not because you were hungry, but because you were testing my skills. And since you're getting the dim sum you asked for, I would say I succeeded. All right, my eloquent assistant. Would you like to go to Wan Fulu with me? Sure. Okay. Jila, Dong Zhang, the relevant department of the office has already conducted an investigation into Xi Tianchen. Tianchen, how did he say? He looked at our provided evidence. He said no more. He said all of them. Ah, Tianchen. 他这次可是真的犯了大错啊！哦，对了，这是您让我调查的资料。嗯，这个女孩子真的很优秀啊。是的，根据我之前跟童小姐的工作接触，她不但工作能力很出色，个人品行也很端正。啊？嗯。那这个童小姐的家庭情况怎么样啊？这个一言难尽。怎么了
，您还是先看一下吧。嗨 ，baby， 我回来了。嗯，这锅马上就煮好了。哎呀，怎么样？见到你偶像开心吗？嗯，我激动的差点就叫出来了，不过我忍住了。我跟你说啊，如果你敢对其他男人产生好感，我就我……那就来不及了，我已经爱上他了。哎呦，不过他这个人呢，虽然看起来和蔼可亲的，但是可凶了，一上来就给我下马威。下马威？嗯，他他给你下马威？嗯，我明天就去收拾他去，等着啊。在你心里，我有那么容易被欺负吗？我可厉害了，我见招拆招哎。听你这么说，你对你那上司还挺有好感啊。我呀，是好久都没有体验过这种职场的刺激感了。哎，别说我了，你呢？今天怎么样？还能怎么样？威风吗？为什么风？你别说了，你快上，我饿了。马上就好，马上就好了。我爸爸的拿手绝活，我这是遗传他的。你爸教你的？嗯，你要是喜欢吃，我以后天天做给你吃，好不好？童薇，嗯，嫁给我吧。你真是求婚啊！真的很认真，嫁给我吧。哪有人一边吃馄饨一边求婚的？这么不正式。那我不管，你嫁不嫁？我考虑一下。是。我考虑一下。成交。Jonathan wants you in his office immediately. He seems to be in trouble. Okay. You asked for me? Wait. Take a look. What's going on? We've been authorized by the BAB to negotiate with a Chinese biotech company called Xinlong to buy some biotechnology. Now, this Chinese company was very sincere, and we, we agreed upon a price. However, this morning, they changed their mind and raised the price. They said they couldn't close the deal for any lesser price, and that there are a lot of other companies who want to do business with them. Now, I can't give this news to BAB. Please be calm. I'll look into this company. No, there's no time. The CEO of this company, Mr. Liu, will be meeting me in an hour at the Wolbu. If I don't take their price and sign the contract, they'll do business with the others. And we have no time to negotiate on such a short amount of time. Then what can I do? You're Chinese. Bringing you in might give them a sense of kinship since we're negotiating with a Chinese firm. All right? So um, get yourself ready and we'll go soon, all right? Okay. Who stayed in a three-star hotel last time? This time he's in the Roosevelt, in a presidential suite. Seems like he's made a lot of money in less than a month. No wonder he wants to raise the price. Did you just say that he used to stay at three-star hotels when he was here before? Yep. We just thought he was cheap. But he said the Chinese are thrifty and diligent, but this time 
unexpected. Wait. I want to go check something downstairs real quick. This is a gift for him. Can you please give it to him? Why? You see soon. Hello. Hi. Can I help you? Hi. I'm Mr. Liu's personal assistant. I want to check and make sure that the presidential suite was booked for seven days. Sure. Yes, Mr. Liu has booked the presidential suite for only one day, and then he will switch to a standard room. And then on Friday, he has the presidential suite booked again. So you are saying that on most days, Mr. Liu will be in the standard room, except on Friday, when he's back in the presidential suite? Yes. Is there any problem? Thank you. Hello? Hey, why aren't you coming up? What are you waiting for? What are we supposed to do? Say yes. Whatever price he asked for. What? Trust me. He's just bluffing. Wait. What did you mean? I just checked with the receptionist. Mr. Liu only reserved the presidential suite for tonight. He's switching to a standard room tomorrow, and then going back to the suite on Friday. Did you make plans to meet that day? Right. So my assumption was correct. He's only staying in the presidential suite when he's meeting you, to make you think that he doesn't need the money. That way, the pressure of negotiating is on us. He raising the price without a reason, it's just him trying to make a quick buck. It means that his company is going through a rough patch. They wanted to use this opportunity to get back on track. It's a bold move. In China, we call it empty city rules. If I'm correct, there is no other company to compete with us. All this was made up by Mr. Liu. I promised them first that I'll give us time for a background check. If the evidence proves my theory, we can still undercut their original price. If their story is exposed, They'll have to surrender to us. Let's see what will happen with Pride. Wait, I guess I'm going to lose the bet. I won't get the chance to see you cry. I appreciate the compliment. Friday's negotiation. Come with me. Sure. You cry? Do you want me to give you a drink? No. Do 志高很穷的你不是那么的物质
我很确定，我要找的人就是你。如果你愿意的话，可以给我一次机会吗？让我做你男朋友。我其实……碧晨，求你别拒绝我，给我一次机会。志高，对不起啊。原来你也嫌弃我？不是不是，我总会嫌弃你的。要真这么说起来的话，也是我配不上你啊。不用这种话来敷衍我。说实话，我已经有喜欢的人了。志高，你是个特别好的男孩子。正因为如此，我才不能拿你当备胎啊！嗯，只能跟你说对不起了。你有喜欢的人了，没事的，碧晨，我们可以公平竞争啊！或许我比他还要优秀呢。你不是这样的，你不明白，这个不是竞不竞争的问题。我喜欢他，也并不代表他比你优秀。是啊，以前我也觉得他不喜欢我，是因为我不够优秀。可是我后来才发现，爱情这个事儿啊，跟优不优秀没有关系。你爱上一个不爱你的人，就像在机场等一艘船，在船上等一辆车。在白天想看星星，在晚上想晒太阳，一切都是痴人说梦。志刚，我已经受过折磨了，所以我不想让你再受一次。你是个特别好的男孩，我相信有一天你会遇到一个真心爱你的女孩的。到时候你就会感谢我了。碧晨，你开门。志高，你回家吧。我有话说，说完我就走。碧晨。身份证、银行卡、户口本、驾驶证、房子的钥匙、车钥匙。你这都干嘛呀？从我认定你开始，一直都是在以结婚为目标的和你约会。这是我全部的假的，我知道这样做很傻。网上教人追女朋友都是买口红、买包、带去吃好吃的，可是碧晨我。我学不会那些虚的，所以很多女孩子看不上我。你拒绝我也没关系，我想要告诉你，我不会放弃。只要你一天不结婚，我就一直等着你。哦，对了，这个周五你要陪我回一次长岛，有一个家庭聚会。周五啊。周五不行，我有一个重要的会要开。其实也是我不好，应该提早告诉你的。我们家族呢，每个月的五号都会有一个家庭聚会，联络一下感情，顺便交流一下工作。嗯，然后呢，我觉得这是一次，对你来说是一个拉近跟我家人距离的好机会。嗯，我也很想去，但是这次谈判也很重要，要不然我下次再跟你一起去吧。这是你来到纽约后第一次家庭聚会。如果你不出现的话，家人可能会觉得你不重视我们这段感情。可是谈判也很重要啊。你只是谈判助理，又不是主导，而且你好好跟你上司说一下，应该没什么问题。就是因为他对我很好
，所以我在工作上才要更加努力。啊，那你把那人电话给我，我打给他。你别闹了，行不行？你到底在紧张什么？以你的工作能力，在总部立足只是时间的问题，但是这次家庭聚会不一样，对我们的未来意义很重大，你明白吗？如果这次你不来的话，家人会有各种猜测，我们就会变得很被动。可是你别可是了，我什么时候这么强求过你？但是这一次我必须要坚持，你就听我的好。我去试试看能不能请假吧。乖。走吧。Here are the files for the meeting on Friday. Please have a look. Wait. You did a really great job on this. Can't wait to see you in action on Friday. Actually, I'm afraid I have to take Friday off. Ask for leave. Why? I have personal matters to attend to. I know it's not polite to ask, but I am curious. What kind of home issues make you give up your work? Wei, you came up with the whole strategy for Friday's negotiation. It would be a shame for you to miss it. I understand the importance of this meeting. I'll just be honest with you. I'm meeting my boy's friend's family. I can't get out of it. Wait. This is a bit different from what I thought. I, mean, I thought you were really ambitious with your work, but... I'm sorry. Fine, Wei. I understand. I know this is something that will make you happy. You know, I had always hoped that I'd have a daughter like you. Independent. If you think this relationship is right for you, and this guy is right for you, then go for it. I'm with you. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Looks like I'm about to lose. And you're going to see me cry. Guess I won the bet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 你今天真的很美。不知道乔纳森那边怎么样了？既然都已经请假了，就别想工作了。今天去了那儿，一定要好好在家人面前表现一下，千万别分心。你欠我个人情，你要还我？放心吧，我用一辈子来还。小飞怎么还没来啊？来来了，我看到他和童小姐一块进来了。他也来了，哎，还是不听我的话呀？看着架势啊，是想让童小姐今天在大家面前正式亮个相。看在小飞的面子上，你千万别给他难看啊！放心吧，我不会这么失态的。不过，绝对不能让这个女人嫁进我们谢家，这一点你要明白。知道。我去坐会儿。喂，大哥来了。来了。哦，大黑。哎，大哥好。哎，都坐，都坐。大哥，听说小飞今天带女朋友回来啊？他的事情我可不管。不管。小飞爱上那个普普通通的中国女孩，这怎么能行？好像他是认真的，都向人家求婚了，这你也不管？你听谁乱说啊！曼哈顿的华人圈都知道了，今天好像要公布他们订婚的消息。董事长，小贝和童小姐来了。我在谈判桌上都没有这么紧张过，今天到这里来，反而特别紧张。有什么好紧张的？你比谢家所有女人都强。你要记住，你是未来的女主人，知道吗？要有自信。走吧。小飞来了，叔叔伯伯不能等你半天了
，这是您的女朋友吧？给大家介绍一下，这是我父亲，你已经见过了。这位呢，是我三叔。三叔好。给大家介绍一下，这是我的女朋友童薇，目前就职于纽约 CAEA 总部。她刚来纽约不久，也是第一次加入我们这个大家庭，所以希望大家可以多多照顾她一下。我谢小飞在这谢谢你们。其实，今天呢，带童薇来是有一件很重要的事情要跟大家宣布一下，那就是小飞啊，好久不回来，这一进门就谈自己的感情，不像话。小飞，你这次从中国回来接手谢氏，是不是有很多工作上的事情要跟各位长辈汇报啊？可以，既然父亲想聊工作。那我就简单的说两句，很开心这次跟我父亲还有机会站在这个地方见到大家。过去的几个月里，发生了很多不好的事情，但事情都已经过去了，没关系，我们谢氏还会继续扩张版图。我还年轻，所以希望长辈们可以多多关照我。谢谢。另外。今天还有一个谢氏成员没有到，那就是我的叔叔谢天成。至于他今天为什么没有到这个地方，我相信所有人都应该心知肚明。中国有句俗话，以德报怨。我谢小飞不信，什么以德报怨？何以报德？小飞，这里都是你的长辈，你怎么说话的呀？那不说公事了，好不好？我们说点私事。我今天带童薇来呢，其实就是想跟大家宣布一下。等等，现在都已经是中午了，想必大家都饿了吧？啊，有什么事情啊？吃完饭再说啊，先开饭吧。是啊，佣人来催好几回了。欧伯，入席吧。哦，大家入席吧，入席吧，入席。小飞，来，三叔跟你谈点事儿。童小姐，请留步，有件事情想跟你谈谈。这边请。杜小姐，董事长，你有什么事情？童小姐。你是个见过世面的女孩子，我们就开门见山吧。你跟小飞的婚事，我不同意。终于等到这句话了。你是个聪明的孩子，你应该想到的。嗯。从我跟小飞在一起的第一天开始，我就一直在等这句话。嗯，那接下来。您是不是准备用钱来收买我了？哈，当然不。首先我知道，童小姐，以你的工作能力，你并不缺钱。其次，虽然我不同意你跟小飞在一起，但是我尊重你，不会用钱来侮辱你。谢谢您的坦率，但是我也要告诉您，我不会因为您的反对就跟小飞分手的。你爱小飞，但是你不知道。你跟小飞在一起会给他带来很大的麻烦。我明白，因为我是普通人家的女孩，你会觉得我不应该攀这种高枝。如果小飞呢，跟赵晨曦、赵小姐这样的女孩子在一起，会给谢氏带来很大的利益，这些我都懂。可是很遗憾，小飞他选择了我。他不愿意牺牲自己的爱情来成就商业利益，这一点
他跟您不同。董小姐，你把我看得太失礼了。事实上，当初我跟小飞妈妈的结合也遭到了家族的反对，但是我坚持了自己的爱情，把小飞妈妈娶进了门。那您为什么不允许小飞这样做？很简单，你的出身不光彩。我不明白您的意思。你的父亲曾经在一宗商业的谈判项目中，作为甲方的谈判代表，收受了乙方的贿赂。事情败露之后，他走了极端，结束了自己的生命。有没有这件事？你们竟然派人调查我！谢氏集团未来的女主人。我们当然要调查，唐小姐，很对不起，我不能让小飞和一个罪犯的女儿在一起。我不允许你这样说我的父亲，而且我父亲当年他这样做是有苦衷的。那与我无关，我只知道，蔡天兰在电话里印证了我的话，你的父亲是个罪犯。你没有权利这样说。我不想失礼，我只想告诉你，我反对你和小飞婚姻的原因，你想过没有？一旦你跟小飞结婚，你的私生活就完全暴露在大众的视野当中，媒体迟早会把你父亲是个罪犯的事实抖露出来。到那时，你自己难受不说，也会影响到我们谢氏集团的声誉。所以我希望你能明白事理，主动离开小飞，这样对你对他都好。我父亲已经为他当年犯的错误而付出代价了，你还要怎么样？而且我父亲他现在人已经不在了，你还这样羞辱他，你没有权利这样说。童薇，童小姐，我，爸，你怎么了？我没事。小飞，我让小天做了一个童小姐的背景调查，我担心他父亲的事影响你们。我正在和童小姐商量该怎么办，可童小姐的情绪变得很激动。哎，这是，这是我的报应，我认了。童小姐，你说的对，我，我是个失败的父亲，我活该失去小飞的爸爸。我没有说过这样的话。没关系，童小姐，小飞，他也是这么想的，这就是我的报应。来人，小飞！来人，这是污蔑我！出什么事儿了？小飞啊！爸，天佑，天佑，爸，天佑，哎，董事长，爸，爸，爸，找医生去。爸，爸，爸，怎么了？小天，你去找童薇。哥，你放心吧，我一定找到他的。快去。江医生说。如果你现在不想回去的话，我会带你转转。怎么样？医生是怎么跟他们说的？你放心吧，都是按照你的吩咐去做的。这下。小飞啊，就不敢气我了。可是，小飞知道你欺骗他，他会恨你的。我别无选择。谢家不能让身家不清白的女孩进门，谢氏会毁在他手里的。We need to monitor your mom's health. Now, ideally, we would do a heart bypass surgery, but because of her age and her current condition, there's a chance that she wouldn't survive the procedure. So instead, we're going to monitor her emotional state and try not to irritate her too much. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, if there's anything you need, just give me a call. Anytime. Thank you.
，进来。爸，感觉好点了吗？啊，好点了。小飞啊，刚才我差点就以为要去见你爷爷了。童威他，他真的说那些话攻击你吗？说起来都怪我不好，我派人去调查了童小姐的父母，结果发现她爸爸居然干过违反商业道德的事情。其实我本来就只想向他求证一下，并且告诉他怎么去应对媒体，没想到他一下就失控了，大发雷霆，还对我破口大骂。哎呀，他他跟他父母感情很深，这我都理解。可是童小姐这么的脆弱。万一她真的嫁进了谢家，面对狂轰滥炸的八卦媒体，只怕要不了多久就要得抑郁症了。小飞，对于你和他的事，爸爸说过，我不支持，但我也不会干涉。可你看看，今天才一提起他父亲，就闹得这么不愉快。小飞啊，你真的要好好斟酌一下了。尤其对他父亲的事情，一定要小心去应对，知道吗？我知道了，我会好好处理的。童薇，我知道事情没有那么简单，你愿意说的话，我愿意听。我还能说什么呢？我知道。我爸爸确实做了那件错事，但他毕竟是我爸爸，我怎么能让别人用那种侮辱的话来说他呢？我理解。你不理解。我能理解。我一直没有告诉过你我的故事吧？我的生父是一个赌鬼，他在和我妈结婚之后，毒瘾越来越严重。在我五岁那年，他们就离婚了，大家都欢呼雀跃。包括我的妈妈，只有我很难受。虽然她不是一个好员工，不是一个好儿子，不是一个好丈夫，但她唯独是一个好爸爸。我记得她第一次带我去打棒球，第一次带我去吃披萨，第一次带我去布朗克斯动物园，第一次带我去看电影。所有人都叫我应该去恨他，忘了他，可是我做不到。童薇，你对你父亲的感情，我感同身受。小天，你说我还能怎么办？你应该相信哥哥，他爱你，他会保护你的。他不相信我，他会伤害我。不会。刚刚在书房。谢叔叔说了很难听的话来羞辱我父亲，但是他看到小飞一进来，他突然换成了另外一个人，他反过来说我冒犯了他。你的意思是说，我的继父在小飞面前污蔑你？对，听起来很不可思议，对吧？谢叔叔是一个那么严厉、那么自律的长者，可他就是用了这么卑鄙的手段，他就是这样做了。童薇。你只有相信哥哥，不然你还能怎么办呢？对，不然我还能怎么办呢？珊珊，我让小李带我出去买点东西，你一个人行吗？行，你去吧。那有什么事情，等我回来再做啊。好，好，好。
你到底去哪儿了？我给你打电话，你也不接。你知不知道，如果你在纽约……对不起，我觉得我们都应该冷静一下。最热闹的街角，强调一定天。